Hey guys, I'm James. Welcome back to Auto Amateur. And in today's video, we're going to be working on my Cayenne. Let's go check it out. Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. This video is long overdue for a couple of reasons. One, it's been months since I put out any content. So here I am making another DIY video. And the other reason is that about six months ago, Porsche in Minneapolis told me that it was time to replace the rear brakes on my Cayenne. I'm only just getting around to the job now. So it's time to get the car up on the lift and to get this job done. We're gonna be doing a DIY, so let's get through this job together. Um, and it's gonna be interesting to see if there's actually anything left of the brake pads. Um, so let's just get straight into it. All right, let's have a quick talk around uh, the caliper here. Um, so very similar to the other brake videos that I've done. Um, here we have the usual Brembo stamp that you see on most of the Porsche brakes, if not all of them, uh, from the last 20 years. Um, here we have uh, two brake calipers, uh, uh, caliper bolts, um, which are going to use some kind of uh, star-shaped um, uh, caliper bolt, um, which I'll put into the description. Here, the caliper retaining bracket, um, instead of having a clip and a, and a, and a uh, retaining bolt across, uh, like on the 997, the 996. Um, we're actually going to be taking that out from the inside after we after we take out the pads. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take this off. Uh, I'm gonna disconnect um, the uh, this uh, sensor over here, then this clip. Um, I'm gonna take the caliper off and out. Take out the um, the brake pads. Uh, and then I'm going to take out the clip, uh, and that's essentially it, good to go. Um, I've got to push back the pistons here and on both sides to allow the new pads to go in. Um, but that is essentially it, so let's get going. All right, let's go over the tools I'm going to be using today. So I've got myself an impact wrench, and I've got myself, oops, clumsy. Got myself an impact wrench, and I've got myself one of the synthetic um lug nut uh sockets which uh helps you protect your rims it basically just has like a nylon synthetic cover uh so you don't scratch your rims um uh if you need it of course and you got locking nuts i've got one locking nut on each rim uh, you usually find this in your drop down uh glove box or um with your toolkit in the uh in the well i guess in the cayenne it's in the boot um, in your 911, it's going to be in your frunk. Um, these are $10 each and they are awesome. A guiding pin, they just screw uh, into um, one of your empty lug nuts and they allow you to take your wheel off without the rim falling off onto the floor. Um, they're pretty good for taking the rim off, awesome for putting your rims back on. Uh, breaker bar, if you need it. Um, wrench and then here i think these are called triple splines uh, this is a 14 millimeter triple spline this is what i need for my two cayenne caliper bolts uh, i think this entire kit was like 15 dollars from amazon uh Techstar brake pads i'm just doing the rear brakes here uh, on my cayenne today not the full set uh, i think these were about 200 bucks something like that maybe 180 bucks um I usually buy these from FCP Euro, but you can get them from most online retailers. Uh, I usually uh, bring a trusty pick. Um, this is fantastic for pulling out tricky plugs, grabbing hold of wires if they're in hard to reach places, that sort of thing. Um, this screwdriver comes in handy, pushing electrical pins back in um, or you know anything like that. Um, and then I never really go anywhere without my Milwaukee flashlight. Uh, you know, these kind of jobs, getting into tight spaces, looking, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. So that's it.
Okay, so I removed the two caliper bolts and I couldn't actually figure out how to unclip this side of the brake pad sensor. It's either rusted into place or I don't know what, but I couldn't get it out. So instead, it's just relatively straightforward to pull it out. And then inside the caliper, you can see here we've got two pistons on either side, um, which are relatively easy to push back in place yourself. Um, we've got the retaining clip down here, which is still in place. Um, and then we have um, these one, two, three, four um, metal holding bolts, which the, um, the brake pads themselves have holes to go over and that holds them into place. And that's essentially it. It's really super straightforward. Um, I could spend a bunch of time with brake clean, cleaning this out, but this is my daily driver. I honestly couldn't care less how clean these calipers are. Um, the outside, maybe I'll give them a quick clean once the brake pads are back in, but this is my daily. I'm going to get it on quick, smart, back on and back on the road. And just for reference, here's what a worn brake pad looks like. And here's what a brand new healthy brake pad looks like. You can just see the difference in how much life this one has had. Brand new, look at the thickness there of the composite the material. Um, these are Techstar, I love the Techstar pads. I've used them on all my Porsches so far. Um, you, the Hawk brand, also really good. Um, I like the Techstar, served me very well. Um, so yeah, let's get them on and let's get this Cayenne back on the road. sensor was a pain in the ass. Um, I couldn't get the connector off the side of the hub um, and it was just because it was rusted in place. So what I ended up going for was to just put the whole caliper back together with the brake pads in place with the clip there, bolted it back on and then at the very end uh, essentially just got my head into the wheel arch um, and used a flashlight and a, a little pair of needle nose pliers just to push the sensor into place. And it, it went in fine. Um, so no damage to the brake hoses, no damage to anything. Um, and now I've got my uh, summer tires back on and the Cayenne is starting to look sharp again. So I love it. <laughs>